I am working on really miniaturized uh, imaging devices for minimally invasive surgical procedures. That basically means that you're making small incisions rather than open surgery. Open surgery is we open up the body, but you can imagine that's associated with longer recovery times, more discomfort for the patient. So by doing minimally invasive surgery, we only make a small incision. You have shorter recovery times and less discomfort for patients. But one of the real issues there is that quite obviously, if you're not opening someone up, you can't see what you're doing necessarily. So we need imaging technologies to try and counteract this problem. So one of the things that we're doing here is we're making very miniature imaging devices that can um, go in alongside surgical devices and into these small incisions and reach different places within the body so that surgeons can see what they're doing. We're doing this using optical fibers, a technology that's been developed for telecoms and many other things. Um, and we're taking that technology and all of the advantages that come with it and applying it to medicine. And with these optical fibers, we put specialized coatings on the end of them. Um, and you can think of some of these coatings as things like, uh, it's essentially like a black rubber, like the type of rubber you might use to seal your bathtub up. And then we shine light at them. And by doing that, we can generate ultrasound. And this ultrasound gives us a rich image inside the human body that you wouldn't, wouldn't be able to get otherwise. This technology, I believe, um, has the potential to have a huge impact across the world. Currently, there, there just isn't the technologies necessary to provide the type of imaging that, that surgeons need. I'm a gastroenterologist and I spend a lot of my time working on diagnosing patients with early cancer, particularly in the esophagus and the stomach. Uh, and one of the issues we have to deal with is trying to understand how deep the cancer goes. Having miniaturized instruments that I can put down an endoscope which allow me to instantly identify and diagnose the nature of the disease would be phenomenal. It, it would be a step up from what we have now. So the other technologies that currently exist, they're prohibitively high in price. They're really expensive. You're talking thousands of pounds for a single use device. You have to throw them away after surgery. And it means they're just not being used when they can be because we can't afford to. So the devices that we're making, they have the potential to be really low cost. Optical fibers and the materials we're using, they're all very low cost. And the manufacturing processes that we're developing, again, they're very simple, very low cost. So there's been a lot of back and forth between the engineers and the clinicians. Uh, they come up with the ideas, we get an opportunity to review, and that allows us to hone what they're doing to be absolutely uh, spot on for what we need in the clinical space. I am really excited about what's coming. The idea that we can miniaturize instruments and get multiple modalities with this optical ultrasound, which is just a phenomenal invention, uh, is going to be a game changer. The diseases we're trying to treat, they affect everybody. Heart disease, circulatory diseases, it's, it's responsible for one in four deaths in the UK at the moment. And if we can improve treatments for, for that one disease, that, that's already a huge impact. But if we can take not only that one disease, but the technology that we apply to that and apply to other diseases, we can start to maybe treat things that people didn't think they could even treat before.